Hi, welcome to the Gary Garage. I'm Zach. This is my little internet show about whitewater things. And today I'm going to talk about Astral shoes. These are my favorite shoes on the market for whitewater. I think the advantages of all of them is they have really good grippy soles, which to me is the number one thing I want. If I'm walking on wet rock, I don't want to fall down. They're, and they're also super comfortable. They look cool. They're just nice shoes. And they're, they're designed by paddlers for paddlers. I feel like you just can't go wrong with Astral shoes. I, I'd say the one common downside to them is they're not super durable. I think most people would agree that they only last maybe like, if you're paddling a lot, maybe like a year. And I'm just gonna say to Ashley's defense, it is really hard to make a shoe that can handle the nonstop wet, dry, wet, dry. There's no river shoe I've ever had that's been incredibly durable. I used 510 shoes for a long time. They make really good shoes, but one of my complaints with them is that they weren't durable either. And so I think you will find that, that with these Astral shoes, they, they do wear out. And so you're either gonna buy them often or maybe buy a few pair. And you'll see I own a few different pair for different things and that way I don't use them as much and they last longer. But you know, it's a, you know at about 80 to 100 bucks a piece, it's a bit of an investment, but if you're padding a lot, you might want a few pair. So let me talk about the different pair that I have, what I like about them. First of all, it's the Brewer 2.0. This is the best overall river shoe out there. It has good grip on the sole. It's comfortable, it looks cool. It works for rafting. I can fit in my kayak with them. I can sup in them if I want to. They're great for going on a hike. I can go to the bar after we go paddling. They're just great shoes. And uh, I would say the only downside to them is, like I said, they're not durable. I, they typically blow out right here. I think this one is starting to blow out, you know, right here already. But um, they'll work for a lot longer even though they've blown out a little bit. And I think that they're, be, them being low in the back like this, uh, my feet, they come out of my feet sometimes. So if I'm walking on like really difficult terrain, maybe it's muddy or, you know, it's just really hard terrain, these aren't the best. These are good for trails, for just general walking, but for hardcore use, I probably, I don't use these, I leave these at home. I use these for just day-to-day -day paddling and or raft guiding. If I'm gonna kayak something difficult, I'm gonna use the Rassler. You know, it's, it's essentially the same shoe, it just has more ankle support, and it's just a good all-around shoe. If I can walk in the mud, this will stay in my foot. If I go for a swim, it's gonna stay on my foot as long as it's tight. Another good one similar to this is the Hayak, which has a Velcro strap across the front. Um, I had those for a while. They're also good shoes. I just found that Velcro strap got annoying, so I, I prefer the lace-up shoes with the Rassler 2.0. And finally is this one. This is the, I think it's the Loyak, and this is the one I use for play boating, and you can see it's just really flimsy. This is just like, you know, just basically a shoe that fits on your foot, but you can shove in the front of a kayak. So if I'm play boating, I'll take these. I probably don't want to go hiking much in them because they don't have a very good sole. But if I need to shove my foot inside of a boat, I'll take these ones out with me too. If I'm if I'm cataracting or rafting, you know, I'll probably typically wear these. But I really like the TR1. That's the shoe that they have. I have a pair of them with me now. But the TR1 is a more sturdy shoe. It's good for cataracting when you're having to like carry your boat down to the water. They have good support, they'd be good for hiking. You could hike 10 miles in them with a pack if you had to. And so they're just good sturdy all around shoes. So if you're just a rafter, you're just a cat rafter, you might wanna look at their TR1. So, but again, the Brewer 2.0, this is just the best all around shoe. You can't go wrong with this one. So those are my thoughts uh, from my experience with these shoes. If you like a particular model for a particular thing, please let me know. Add a comment in the comment section below. Like I, again, like I learn a lot from the comments and I appreciate the discussion. So yeah, let me know what you like and see you next time. Thanks.